It's just madness. Right? Yeah, this is your mom. <laughs> and your boss, who you hate. It's weird. Hi, Zach. Hi, Joey. Hi. How are you guys? Good. How are you? Good, good. So both of you have shared experiences as former child actors transitioning into adult roles. How did this common background influence your approach to portraying characters in a family affair? Uh, I guess that's kind of something Chris is all about. Um, it's fun. I think we, we do get to go into it a bit in this movie, especially my character, Chris. He's, he's kind of dealing with fame on a, on a very, at like a, pr a pretty big level. He's, um, it's kind of, I think in ways taken over, uh, his life in a very big way. And it's hard to deal with. I mean, it's fun to look in and examine these things and uh, uh, think about it in kind of the worst possible way that I could have would have handled it on a, on a bad day, you know, and and turn that into a character. I think it's it's tough and it's fun to go into to how ridiculous um, it feels at times. Yeah, and I also think that uh, our backgrounds is both like really being young actors and like, I don't know, I think we both have been around for a long time, like, and I think that with that, we both have just like no fear. I think we're both pretty like risky and fearless yeah. and like, we bonded really quickly. Um, but I think that like, ha both of us having that history and like, I think we both are pretty fearless. We're, we're, we can take some risks, especially with our improv. We both just had such a nice immediate connection and who knows if maybe that had to do with our backgrounds, but like, I think just because we both are fairly, like, We've done fairly confident. Yeah. I don't know. Like sometimes I'm confident, sometimes I'm not. But well, we, we know had, what we're doing. It's fun to know that you know you're you're very. We're we both had pretty a, young. We know yeah. what we're doing. At this we point. had a lot of fun like taking those like big swings with one another. Yeah. Yeah, and you could perceive that. And Carrie Solomon mentioned that your off-screen dynamic was also as equally entertaining as your on-screen chemistry. Mm -hmm. So do you have any specific moments or behind the scenes experiences that you could share that exemplify that camaraderie and how it may have impacted your performance? I don't know, we were just talking a lot between I think days. you sent me a text one time being like, there was like a renaissance fair like in town when we were shooting. You were like, we should go to this and dress up. We should go there and dress up. And I just texted you back and I was like, no. I know. I <laughs> no, we shouldn't. Devastating. <laughs> no, because you were like the king of making plans and never following through because <laughs> I would have bought a whole dragon costume and then I would have probably shown up alone. <laughs> so that's why I was like, no, we're not doing this. <laughs> we got to run that back. Though. We got to run that back. I'm we gotta go to a renaissance fair. Oh my god. There's a new show called Ren Fair on HBO. I know. It's amazing. Okay. And Watch I, I just have to ask, you know, you both work, side, work alongside Nicole Kidman on this project. What was that like really bringing her character? Her character was so relatable, I think, to so many women. Uh, what was it like to work with her and, and build that character among the three of you that people could empathize, empathize with? It's, working with Nicole is the best. It, it truly is. She's she's got such an incredible body of work i think you know i can't help but still be be starstruck at moments that i'm hanging with her but mm -hmm. um Absolutely. just the the person she is she's she's so loving and honest and um just like disarming when you actually get to hang with her that it's very easy to fall into a, a great like i don't know fall in love with her. It's yeah, and she's such a generous actress. Like, building the dynamic between the three of us was really, like, it was met with a lot of ease because, you know, her and Zach are both just, like, these powerhouses, but so willing to just do whatever it takes to build that dynamic and really just have fun and relax. And I think Brooke's character, like you said, a lot of people can relate to it because it's kind of a person, like... It, even if it's even if you're not going through the death of a husband and dealing with raising a child through that it's like it's just kind of a it's a second coming of age for her and i yeah. think a lot of people whether it's like losing somebody close to you maybe coming out a, as a different sexuality later on in life like there's many different versions of a second coming of age and so i think this movie is super relatable in many ways but brooks character is like, you know, I think a lot of people in their, like, in that period of their life can relate to finding a new version of themselves, probably. Yeah. 